Hello friends, Tony here. In this video now I want to add a search input in our uh, project. So in the navigation I'm going to add a search and as we type we are going to make a search for the tasks belong to this user. And I have prepared HTML here. And you can find that in this URL. So play.typingcss.com and pass in the this code. I'm going to copy this and let's open the VS code and first of all I'm going to create a component, the LiveWire component and here I'm going to say uh, artisan which is the alias for PHP artisan make LiveWire and the name which is going to be search you can name what you like I'm not going to add this in the tasks directory I'm going to leave in the LiveWire directory okay now let's open the search blade and here I'm going to select all and paste that HTML we have copied from here and I'm going to close now this one and as I said you I'm going to add in the navigation so for that I'm going to open the navigation which we have inside the layouts the navigation blade and yeah here we have the logo which is this one then we have a links and after these links, I'm going to add a div. And in this div, I'm going to inject the live wire component. So let's say live wire and the name of the component, which is search. And I'm going to self close this and let's save. Hey, yeah, here is the search now. Uh, maybe I'm going to apply also some classes to this div here. And I think, yeah, now we are more OK. So we have the input and the search results is going to be like this. We have a dummy data now. Let's start and work with the search. I'm going to close the navigation. If I scroll up, in the input, I have added the wire model search. OK, so when you copy that code, you have this wire model search. So we are going to bind this input in the search property. For that, we need to open the search class and define that property and we have done that so to define a property we say public and the name of the property which is going to be search in our case and now as we type i want to make a search so i don't have to have a button here and when we click a button to search but as we type we are going to search for that in the render i'm going to create a results and it's going to be an empty array is very easy to create that so and then I'm going to check if and let's use the string length so string length of this search if that is greater than not zero because I'm not going to start immediately the search I'm going to start uh, if the search is greater than two characters okay that if that is true, so if the search, if we have type more than two characters, I'm going to make a search and let's say now dollar sign results is going to be equal with out user and tasks relationship. And we're going to use the where method where and search for the title in the title. So where title. It's going to be like this search and we can say get or all okay and then in here right now I'm without uh, I'm going to use the compact uh, we don't need to add search here because we have defined as a public property so we have results and let's save this and let's go to search blade now and here I'm going to remove this dummy data just leave one here which I'm going to cut and make a for each so I'm going to make for each dollar sign search sorry not search results results as what to say result and here paste that dummy data which uh, I'm going to remove this paragraph, just leave this one, which is going to be the title. Here I'm going to say to display the title. So the last sign results. 
result single one title okay let's save and let's see now yeah we don't have results here on the find variable results and let's copy this and see why I have made typo here now refresh yeah but if we type right now nothing is going to change we are not going to make uh, live wire is not going to make a request if we as we type and we have uh, learned that so if I open the live wire documentation and let's get started okay so here I have navigated directly to the wire model so you can go here in the HTML directives and we have wire model so live wire make is easy to bind the component properties of value with form input using the wire model good but what I wanted to show you is why isn't my component live updating as I type so if you try this in your browser and are confused why the title isn't automatically updated is because live wire only updates a component when an action is submitted like pressing the submit button not when the user types into a field and if we scroll down we can say live we can see here we have a live updating so we need to add this live modifier in the wire model and let's do that let's go to search and let's add dot live modifier now if i save that and come here network let's type something here one as you can see as we type it's going to make a request and that's it good so let's uh, search for example for this one and i have make again a typo in the search class not tasks like this refresh and now I'm going to copy this and paste it here nothing is going to change we need the exact title and then it's going to be here as you can see so just let me zoom it a little bit yeah now we have that and that is because we in the search class we say where title is going to be like this but I don't want to be exact like this I want to be similar so let's say let's add the percentage dot this search dot and percentage again and now if we refresh again and let's say something like this and now we have the search good i'm going to zoom it out again or let's leave like this and inspect the element go to network and let's close let's clean and let's type so as we as we type uh, we make a search but i don't want to make a search every keystroke so what i want is for example uh, for uh, 50 milliseconds to make a request for that we can add a uh, debounce so let's search for the debounce in our live wire documentation and here we have debounce now when using live on a text input you may want more fine-grained control over how often a network request is sent by default a debounce of 250 milliseconds is applied to the input however you can customize this using the debounce modifier so after the live we can add also the debounce modifier and let's copy this and do that so in the search blade i'm going to add also the debounce modifier and I'm going to change that to 500 milliseconds good let's come here let's see now if i start typing for example as you can see nothing is changed it's not making a request so we type we type no request is made if i stop then it's going to make the request if i stop typing and uh after 500 milliseconds is going to make a request so let's say and then after five milliseconds is going to 
make a request. So one more time, just show you. After five milliseconds, you have to make the request. Now, if you like that, okay, but I want uh, not to wait when the user is finished and then wait for 500 milliseconds and make a request. I want to make a request after five milliseconds, even if the user is uh, typing here. Okay, for that, we can use the throttle. So throttle input, so as started previously, when uh, input debounce is applied to a field, a network request will not be sent until the user has stopped typing for a certain amount of time. This means if the user continues typing a long message, a network request won't be sent until the user is finished. And we don't want that. In this case, you can use a throttle to signify a time interval to send a network request, and we can say just instead of debounce, we can use throttle. And in this example, a user, as a user is typing continuously in the title field, a network request will be sent every 100 milliseconds or what you can uh, add here. So instead of the debounce, I'm going to use throttle and save. And now let's see the difference. Let's say uh, as you can see, as I uh, type, it's going to wait for 500 milliseconds and it's going to make request and that's it what I want. Okay friends, that's it all about this video. So let's try one more time and I'm going to search for this name. So I'm going to say and here we have the results. Good. Now that's it all about. I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one friends. All the best.